Hello Pisces, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Pisces, this will be your reading for January 15th through the 31st. This will be a general reading. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And to also take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Okay, Pisces, let's get into your current energy. What is your current energy for January 15th through the 31st? And by the way, my readings are timeless. So if you catch this reading, um, whenever you see this reading is when you're meant to receive it. So what do we have for Pisces? We have look for the signs and synchronicities. So Pisces, you may be seeing a lot of numbers. You may be seeing the number 1111. You may be seeing the number 444. Uh, 333 222 you know look for those synchronicities and and google them google the angel numbers they will let you know what those numbers mean you know 1111 is an angel number for protection and it you know offers you guidance insight um but yeah if you're seeing numbers and synchronicities pisces Look those numbers up. It'll give you the meaning. That, that'll that give you more clarity on your situation. Align your intentions with your actions. So, whatever it is that you have intentions on doing, align your, your spirit with that, you know? Um, make sure that you're aligned. Thinking more positive. Speak positive things to yourself. I say this all the time because it, it means so much that you speak positivity into your life because that is what brings creation. If we speak negative things in our life, negative things are going to happen. So we want to make sure to speak good things into our life and go with the flow. We have go with the flow, Pisces. So and we also have ground and center yeah definitely so spirit is letting you know that it's a, it's time to focus on your intentions centering yourself aligning yourself maybe taking a look at if your chakras are aligned grounding yourself get out into nature just getting out into nature brings a calmness, you know. Have you ever walked through the woods and just felt a calm, just a peaceful serenity that kind of falls upon you? Nature has a natural grounding effect, you know. That's why they all say get out in nature if you're feeling like you're you're not aligned with your intentions. Get out in nature. Explore. What do we have for Pisces? Spirit, tell me what messages we have for Pisces. Two of Cups. Okay, there may be new love coming in. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay. And I'm constantly dropping cards lately. I don't know what's going on. I can't really hold them without dropping. Okay. Whew. The Five of Pentacles. Okay. What else do we have for Pisces? The Nine of Swords. And the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. At the bottom we have the King of Wands. So Pisces, I feel like if this is a new love connection, this connection is going to be very fiery. This may also be your energy at the moment, Pisces. You may be in a King of Wands 
kind of mood, you know, very passionate, very um, intense, very fiery, very free-spirited, you know, very, very bold and assertive. You may be in that kind of mood to show that boldness, show that power. But I feel like if you're if you're open to love, it's definitely coming in, Pisces. Or this could be a love that you're already feeling, but you're feeling more passion, more more love, more caring, more, you know, fire to this. Because I, with this Ace of Pentacles, this Ace of Pentacles brings on new vibrance you know new opportunities for some of you and this may not resonate with a whole lot but I feel like this may also be a new job opportunity some kind of new partnership that you're gaining into but your current energies is the five of Pentacles so I feel like Pisces you're kind of feeling left out. You're feeling like something just ain't going your way, you know? You feel like you're having some kind of loss. This could also be you worrying a lot because you have the Nine of Swords right next to it. So I feel like you may be worrying a lot, but this may lead you to isolate yourself a lot more. But I feel like this worry, this stress, this strain that you're going through, it's kind of unfounded. Because I feel like you're doing a lot of work to pull yourself out of it. You're, you're working on it, you know. I feel like you... You are having some kind of delayed response to something that you're working on. Something that you're having a lot of patience for. You're waiting for it to come through. And I feel like you're worrying about it. So there's no need to worry. There's no need to worry. If, if you're going to worry, you might as well not even do the work. Because, you know, that's just kind of counterproductive. But... I feel like there's no need to worry. It's coming through for you, um, Pisces. Let's take a look and see what's coming for Pisces. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. So whatever it is come, this coming is um, bringing you more stability. You're looking for more stability. You're also looking for answers. Hmm. The Two of Pentacles. Okay. And we also have the Seven of Swords at the bottom. So Pisces. I feel like, you know what, you need to be aware of people who are around you. People who are around you who are doing sneaky things. Someone's being conniving. Someone's being sneaky. Someone means to take something from you. Someone's betraying you in a way. Hmm. But we have the, the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. So I feel like where you're looking for stability, where you're looking for growth in this situation, I feel like, you know what, this is going to happen in its own divine timing. I, I feel like it's coming through, but I feel like it's coming through very slowly because I feel like you're kind of doing something that's restricting it. You may be isolating yourself from this 
prosperity from happening. It may be the negative speaking that you're doing. Maybe that's why it's saying you need to go with the flow. You need to find your aligning. You need to look for the synchronicities. Because I feel like something you're doing, and it may be, it has to do with this worry and stress that you're going through. But I feel like you need to speak more positivity into your life. Whatever you're saying to yourself about the situation is holding you back from your prosperity. It's holding you back from whatever is coming through for you. And, you know, where you can have this new beginning. See, but the Eight of Swords is right underneath this new beginning. It's kind of in the background. So I feel like this new beginning can only come through if you are more positive in your situation. You stop doing whatever it is that you're doing that's bringing this negativity into your life. That's holding you back from the situation. You're kind of speaking this negativity in your life and this new beginning is like just waiting. It's being delayed because of this. So yeah, I feel like with this King of Swords situation, this may be your energy, but this may be someone else's energy coming through to let you know that, you know, someone's coming in to speak truth to be honest with you to support you but to support you in a way that is like brutally honest and I feel like this is bringing you to a sort of recovery. I feel like whatever this King of Swords says to you, you're like recovering from it. You're saving face. You know what I'm saying? You're... I feel like the, the King of Swords, the brutal honesty that they give to you kind of puts you in a position like you're not worrying about it, but you're trying to recover from what they said. You're trying to gain your balance again. You're focusing on your recovery. And this puts you in a position where you're like making choices. And I feel like you may be making choices to kind of take their advice. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's get a little bit of clarity on the situation. Spirit, what is this Two of Cups? Tell me more about this Two of Cups situation. The Death card. Okay. So with this Two of Cups, I feel like... This may be a love situation that you're already in because I feel like it's transforming into something different. It can be transforming into something more valuable to you with this Ace of Pentacles next to it, you know. Um, but I feel like if this is love that's already in your life, this is something that's transforming. This is something that is changing. For a few of you, this is you moving away from this love interest. This may be you ending this love interest and, and going your separate ways. But for most of you, I feel like this is just love that, that's changing. It's changing into something different. What is this Ace of Pentacles? Okay, the Ace of Wands. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So I feel like whatever this Ace of Pentacles is, it could be very passionate. It could be very um, lucrative is what I want to say. What is this Five of Pentacles? Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. The King of Swords. 
Yeah, I feel, and I was feeling like the King of Swords was coming in to give you the brutal truth about the situation. And I feel like this King of Swords is giving you a lot of clarity, a lot of truth. And they're kind of leading the way on the situation. They're giving you some kind of uh, inspired thought that's kind of moving you into the right direction. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. The Chariot. Yeah, okay. So whatever this King of Swords is telling you, whatever situation that they're telling you, whatever plans that you're making, you're moving away from this Nine of Swords energy. You're moving into a better situation, a better energy by the end of the month. So I feel like whatever, whatever they're saying to you is kind of working. What is the Seven of Pentacles? The Eight of Wands. So, yes. Okay. With the Seven of Pentacles, this was, you know, something that was being delayed because of this, you know, negative thinking that was happening. By the end of the month, the Eight of Wands this is going to move more fast, more quickly. This is going to bring your inspired action. Um, this is moving much quicker because of some kind of change in thinking that you're doing. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. The King of Wands. King of Pentacles and King of Wands. So definitely... This is putting you into a better financial position. And it's also putting you into a very passionate position. Um, I feel like you're, you're, you're taking inspired action. You're being more bold, more assertive. You're following the lead, you know. You're, you're moving towards something very aggressively. You're not holding back. Tell me about this Eight of Swords situation. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. The Sun. Yeah, so where you were holding yourself back, you finally see the light. You're finally moving in the right direction. You're, you're being more positive. You're being more bright, more happy, more um, open to whatever it is that's coming. So definitely, definitely a turnaround, Pisces. Beautiful energy. With the King of Swords, we have the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like whatever this King of Swords is telling you, whatever inspire, whatever it is that's inspiring you, it's taking effect. It's you feel their support. You feel like they're they're working with you as a team. You know they're collaborating you. They're giving you quality advice. You're really taking it in. Tell me about this Four of Swords. Tell me about this Four of Swords. Yeah, the Six of Cups. So, yeah, the advice that they gave you, you're fully recovering from. And now you're like... Regaining that happiness, you know, um, you've accepted this gift that they that that you're given. This gift of recovery, or this gift that you're given. What is this Two of Pentacles? Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, so whatever choices you're making, whatever choices this is, this is going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of satisfaction. You have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. You also have the Sun and the Death card. So I feel like 
Oh, you also have the chariot. Okay, so whatever the situation is, you're moving into a better situation. You're gaining, you've gained a lot of perspective. You've kind of made the efforts and moved forward. And you have the emperor on the bottom. So you're actually gaining your control. You're taking control of the situation again. So Pisces, this is very, very important. Where at the beginning, you know, you felt like you were losing control. Like, you know, things weren't in your ability. I feel like you're gaining the control. You're moving into a better situation, definitely. Give me some advice for Pisces. What advice do you have for Pisces? What advice do you have for Pisces? <clears throat> we have deep cellular healing. Our curious energy. I know I'm probably not saying that right. But physical and emotional healing. Yeah. And you also have Seas of Mentaka. Sea potential bringing unconsciousness to light. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have for Pisces? Tell me what else we have for Pisces. We have Earth Connection. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to Earth. Stay grounded. Yeah. Get out in nature. Stay grounded. Go with the flow, Pisces. You know, I feel like that's going to be very, very important for you to, you know, center yourself. Be aligned. Speak positive things into your life. Stay away from the negative situations and facing your fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. And I feel that for you. You're going through a lot of spiritual changes. Okay, Pisces, we also have soul flame. So rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience a relationship, harmony, and healing. So, yeah, that's what I was feeling with this Two of Cups situation. I feel like this is you rediscovering a love interest this is something kind of changing its form this if, if this situation is already in your life I feel like it's gonna move to a different level if this is new love this may be love that's progressing um, but I feel like for a very few of you, this is love ending. But I really feel like this is love going to the next level. Going through some kind of transformation and changing in, in direction. Okay, Pisces, if you'd like to ask a question, we'll get some cards to answer the questions that you have. So if you'd like to pause the video and ask a question, go ahead and do that now. Okay, let's get some answers for Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? Okay, and the answer to your question is unlikely. Unlikely. And in the near future. So if it doesn't happen right away, it will happen in the near future, Pisces. Um, you just have to wait. For, you know the precise timing um, but in the near future is when it will probably happen whatever your question is okay um, and that is what I have for you Pisces yeah that is what I have for you so Pisces if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. If, um, 
And until the next reading, Pisces, many blessings to you. Love and light.